Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to let you know that for Christmas, I will be giving away a Masterpiece Transport Mammoth crafted by myself over on Twitch. So if you're not following me over on Twitch, a link to the stream will be down in the description. Also, I'm giving away 10 months of premium. If you want a chance to win the premium here on YouTube, just make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and comment your Albion name down below. But with that out of the way, enjoy the money-making method. Hey guys, so I'm here in Martlock, and for this moneymaker, I've bought some horses here just enough to transport on a tier 8 transport ox that way i know a lot of you guys won't have a mammoth so this will be a lot more manageable for you guys but i bought all the materials i'll need to saddle these i'm going to make tier 5 armored horses and tier 4 normal horses now all of these materials combined cost me about 4.1 million silver so a little bit higher than the estimated market value and we'll come over here and see how much it costs to saddle these animals now for those of you that don't know for those of you that haven't saddled before there is no return rate on the horses so we can come here and see, I'm a little short on materials, but I'll get enough of these back to uh, saddle the rest. So we have about 14,000 to saddle those, and the armored ones will be a little more expensive at about, we'll say, 43,000. So all in all, the total cost for me to craft these horses is going to be just under 4.2 million silver. And now one thing you will notice when you do, if you do decide to saddle these, is that it takes a long time to saddle. But again, there's no resource return rate for the animals so this will be basically all the time you have to wait. You can use food to speed this up, which uh, if you're doing in large amounts, if you have a mammoth and you're doing this like hundreds and hundreds of horses at a time, then I would probably recommend using a Kraken salad because they do have qualities. So using a salad can actually uh, get you some masterpiece horses, which will sell for anywhere from two to three times as much as the normal horses. But I won't make you guys wait for the saddling. I'll skip ahead till this is done, and then I'll show you guys what we're going to do with the horses once they're all saddled. I also figure while I'm sitting here waiting for this craft, I'll let you know that because I am streaming a little bit later in the day, uh, I will be live on Twitch right after this video goes live, and I'll be giving away two months of premium today only. So if you're watching this video as it comes out, be sure after the video ends to go hop over on Twitch. Again, I'll be giving away a Masterpiece Mammoth on that as well. That's the main reason why I'm getting into saddling, uh, breeding, and such, because I want to get my skill to level 100 before Christmas. That way I can have the Transport Mammoth actually say, crafted by Doubleback Envy. I just feel like it'd be a little nice touch for the giveaway, but... We're just about done here. You can see these do have qualities. So using a salad, again, if you're making hundreds of horses at a time, I would use a salad. It'll definitely speed up how long it takes you to saddle these animals. And like I said, you'll make the silver back in the couple of masterpieces or excellence you'll get. But there's the last animal. So we've spent just under 4.2 million. And you can see it says the estimated market value is only 4.4. So according to the estimated market value, you only made like 200,000 silver. But if we come here, these horses currently are selling for about 60, they were 67,000, uh, all of them in Thetford yesterday. So that right there is an extra 250,000 or so that's not taken into account. And then also these horses are selling for around 30,000 in Thetford, might be a little lower uh, by the time this video comes out. But again, the prices might be a little bit worse the first couple days this video is out, but you know, this will just be another method that you can come back, uh, test out later and just make sure it's profitable before you do it. Don't blindly follow money makers online, but, uh, yeah, it'll be profitable in the long run. You know, people are constantly using animals. These sell thousands and thousands and thousands per day. So you shouldn't have any real issue selling a couple dozen of them at a time if you don't have a bunch of silver. And again, that's why I'm doing this on an ox, just to give you guys a more realistic expectation of how much you can expect to make. But all in all, buying the materials off the market, saddling them probably five minutes or so, and then transporting will be another eight or so minutes. So you're looking at about 15 minute trips if you want to haul them to Thetford. And the reason why I'm hauling them to Thetford is because the Thetford... Uh, the city right now has uh, huge prices for saddlers, so it's not really economical to pay, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of silver in tax to saddle them in Thetford. Rather, you can just pay the cheaper tax in Martlock and then haul them to Thetford, and you can save that extra couple hundred thousand. It adds up fast, especially if you're doing like a stack of these a day. You can save yourself a million or so silver saddling. But I won't make you guys sit here through the entire transport. We will head over to town and I'll let you guys know how long it took and what you can expect as profit once it all sells. Again, I just want to stress for you guys, if you're watching this video the day it came out, make sure that you actually like do the math before you just blindly buy these materials. Uh, saddling is very easy math, 
because like I said, there's no return rate on the horse. So you literally just take the price of the horse and then add up the uh, little bit of materials like 20 leather. This isn't very expensive. You're talking like 3000 silver compared to the horse that's closer to 20,000. So the materials aren't really a big part of the uh, final price, maybe 10% or so. So just make sure that, uh, well, I guess I should say, if you want to make the most amount of profit doing this, uh, you want to get as cheap of horses as possible or oxes. You can do this with any other animal, uh, preferably the lower tier ones that don't require focus points to make. But the lower price you can get the animals, the better. And you can actually make a pretty decent profit uh, just growing these yourself. I believe I was told you can do about nine of you can do nine of these per pasture. So you can buy a cheap island for a few hundred thousand silver, put 27 of these on the island and you're making about 10,000 profit per horse and then you're making another 10 to 15,000 profit on top of that when you actually saddle it. So you can make upwards of 400 to 500,000 silver per per cheap like level 3 island if you want to farm these yourself, which I would probably recommend especially if you want to do large quantities like over a stack per day. Uh, you can build islands to get your to get yourself those 1,000 horses rather than just trusting some other uh, breeder to list them on the market for you. They A lot of breeders don't list them on the market. They don't buy very often. You might be able to buy these uh, off Discord better. Uh, typically, when I've looked at the city, there's only a couple hundred uh, per day. I, yesterday, I bought, I want to say, close to 900 horses, and that was literally every single horse on the market at the time. So you can't get like a thousand of these consistently per day, but you can easily sell a thousand of these armored horses per day consistently. So the hardest part for you is to just source these original horses. So if you want to put in the time to farm them yourself, again, these armored horses, you can see the estimated market value for last, for the last month was 32,000. These armored horses are selling for 65,000. And again, pretty much the entire cost is in the horse itself. So you're making probably if you farm them yourself, close to 40,000 profit per horse, a stack of horses per day. You know, you can see it adds up very quickly into millions and millions of silver. But we're here at Thetford. We'll head over to the market and literally all you have to do is list these and I will get you guys the total. Again, the reason why I'm hauling them here is just because there's it's harder to saddle horses in Thetford right now. There's no actual reason necessarily why Thetford would buy them, uh, buy more horses. It's just that it's harder to efficiently saddle them here because of the taxes in the town at the time. So if you're watching this in the future, the taxes might be different in other cities. And so don't necessarily rely on uh, this video exactly. You know, Do your own research, run your own numbers, and check the profits accordingly. But we'll list these all here for a fair price under market. And then I will add them all up here, the total in the armored horses section you can see all the ones i crafted yesterday still uh sold here on the market you know 20 probably crafted close to 60 million in horses yesterday but i'll add up the prices of the ones we just crafted and let you guys know how much profit we made in roughly 15 minutes all right i have the numbers and all in all it took roughly not counting the uh, time in between checking prices and everything you know if you know the prices already ahead of time come to the market list it you can get a full ox. I actually didn't even bring a full ox. I was only at about 80% if you don't count the extra mats I hauled. So you can actually probably haul close to 40 to 50% more horses than I hauled here. But even with hauling the materials, not having a full ox or whatever, we made 400,000 silver in roughly 12 minutes. So we'll be generous and say that I could hold 30% more oxes or 30% more horses on my ox. And if we do that just four times per hour, we're looking at just over 2 million silver per hour saddling horses off the market. And again, that's market price. I was spending way more for the horse uh, than you could get if you were slower. I was just kind of buying it immediately to show you guys prices. Like if you come here, I spent close to 40,000 silver on these horses. You can easily grow these yourself for like 25 to 30,000 silver. So you can save yourself per stack roughly 10 million silver. And you could easily go through a stack of these per day. So you're looking at, if you grow them yourself, you'll probably be closer to three to three and a half million per hour, just in the cost savings on the horses. Also, I didn't do it for this video, but also if you can't buy any tier four horses, you can buy tier three horses. These, you can see, you can buy them for just under 8,000, put a little bit of leather into them, sell them for 12,000. So a really easy profit. 
if you want to do tier three as well. But that's it for the video. I will be doing more silver making methods here in the coming month in preparation for the Christmas giveaway. So again, if you guys would like to be a part of the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Only about 20% of you or so actually subscribe when you're watching these videos. And I hope you guys have some luck saddling animals. Again, this was just a little demonstration. Not really buying at the lowest prices or whatever and we're still able to make about two million per hour so if you guys are actually doing this efficiently buying prices or hauling or uh, growing the horses yourself probably closer to three million per hour and if you have a mammoth this is easily a 10 plus million per hour method if you can source the horses for doing so but that is it for today's video. Again, after this video is live, I will be live over on Twitch. So come check me out there and earn some channel points for the Masterpiece Mammoth giveaway. But I'll stop rambling on and hope you guys have an amazing day.